Hi, everyone. Can you guys hear me? Jordan, were you able to get this going without me? No, because you're in another call. It wouldn't let me use it because it's under your account. Oh, so I'm so sorry, Twinklers. We, I was in the middle of teaching another class, and we, for the first time, have been trying um, to like have assistants basically warm you up while I finish teaching and then going straight into your guys' class. So it's a little bit of a learning curve. So I'm sorry if some people thought we missed class and they left. Um, but we're starting it now. Um, and for whoever's here, we'll just get going and jump right into it. Are you guys stretched at all? I can't, I can't hear anyone. Are you guys all stretched? Ella is perfect. Give me a thumbs up if you're stretched. Good, Matt stretched. Brooklyn stretched. Zoe stretched. Okay, perfect. So we're we have a really small class today now. Um, so we'll just go ahead and get started, and then other people can join in too. So our skill of the week is who knows? Pirouette. So we're gonna practice our pirouettes today. So I'm gonna have you guys stand up, make sure you have some room. Hopefully, I know some of you guys are kind of on some carpet, so just be careful, but we'll be working on those pirouettes together today. So you guys are gonna start working on our preps, okay? So starting with our feet together all the way, feel your feet all the way. We'll rise up on seven, stepping forward and prepping on eight. Okay, good. So if I'm you guys this way, seven and eight. So my left foot is forward and my right arm is straight forward too. Okay, so maybe when I'm this way, I'll try to mirror you guys so you don't get confused. Okay, there we go. Yep. You guys are gonna turn over your right shoulder and pick up your right foot, turn it around. Okay, we're gonna start with singles to start and then we'll work up our way to doubles. Um, so what I'm gonna be looking for is completely straight base leg. Um, I think a lot of us tend to turn on some like wobbly legs. And then the second thing I'm looking for is all the way up on your toes and your releve. So making sure that you're not turning on a flat foot. Okay, give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. Perfect. Okay. So um, we are going to prep seven and on eight. And then you're going to just do a single and turn one, two, land three, four. And I'm going to be mostly watching you guys so I can give you guys some feedback, okay? So make sure I can see you. Um, and if I can't, try to pop up your camera so I can see you a little bit better too. So here we go. Ready? Three, four, five, six. Up on your toes. Seven. Prep it. Eight. Turn one, two, land. Three, four. Good. So Madison, what I saw for you, what I want you to do is bring your leg all the way up into a high passe. So I'm bringing your leg all the way up to here. That was way better. Can you get it even higher? Show me. Better. Good. So, yep, there's a lot of people turning with really low passes. Elizabeth, can you connect your passe onto your leg? So point that toe. Point that toe and connect your passe. That was better. Yep, you just needed more momentum to get back to the front. And I know you're turning on carpet too, so that makes it a little bit tougher, but that's okay. Hey, Zoe, you want to put that green ball away and you want to focus? Perfect. Okay. So everyone again together, ready? Three, four, five, six, up, seven, prep, eight, turn, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna quiz you guys a little bit. So if you know to the answer to this, you can unmute yourselves, but who knows which way when I step forward and I prep, which way do my hands face when my arms are straight? Which way do they face? Who knows? Some people are. How about you, Zoe? Where do they face? Anybody? I got one. Okay, what about you, Brooklyn? Your palm faces down. Your palm faces down. Great job. Yep, so your palms are facing down right now. I see a lot of people where they're facing, like, almost like you're going to give yourself high five. Okay, so remember from here, they stay facing the floor when they come up. So make sure they think about taking your palms all the way to the floor, okay? So let's try that one more time. Everyone really focus on your prep. Here we go, ready? 
three, four, five, six, up, seven, prep, eight, turn, one, two, three, four. Good, Brooklyn, I think you could lift your posse a little bit higher too. Um, you're getting it there, but it's almost like it's not, I want it to like hold there. And what I see right now is a lot of people are just like picking up that foot and setting it down rather than getting it there quickly and think about gluing it, okay? So I wanna see that position hold for a second. Yeah, give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. Good, okay, um, we're gonna do three more singles, ready? Here we go. Ready, three, four, five, six, up, seven, prep, eight, turn, one, two, three, four. Henley, you have an awesome passe. Um, the only thing that I want you to fix is your base leg is a little bit bent. So when I'm turning, if I'm turning, this leg right here, I'm seeing a bend right there and I want you to really straighten it, okay? So that's, but your passe is so good. So keep that up, cause that's, that's hard to do too. Okay, here we go, try it again, ready? Three, four, five, six, up, seven, prep, eight, turn, one, two, three, four. Good. Um, I'm gonna give you one more little quiz. When we are turning in a pirouette, oh, this is a hard question to ask. I'm trying to think of how to phrase it. When we're turning in a pirouette, are we supposed to hop at all? Or are we supposed to stay on our toes and like spin? Is it a hop or is it a spin? Spin. Spin, okay. I see a lot of people hopping through it right now, okay. And we're only working on singles. So especially in a single, you have to think about not hopping at all. You're gluing that foot down, you're gluing your leg down and you're trying to spin, okay. So trying to take the hops out. And if you fall over, that's okay. So if I'm here and I'm leaning and I fall out of it, Okay, I'd rather see that than somebody going like this the whole time. Right? Because that looks a little silly too. Okay, so try not to hop at all. Think about your foot being glued to the floor and you can't move it at all. Okay, try it one more time. Here we go. Ready? Three, four, five, six, up, seven, prep, eight, turn, one, two, three, four. Good, so Ella S, can you hear me? Maybe. Um, right now your passe is up on your knee this way and I want your passe to be to the side of your leg right here, okay? So make sure that you're moving your passe over. Okay, if you are ready to try your double, I'm gonna have you try your double, but if you wanna stay with your single two, that's okay. So whatever you're still working on, we're gonna keep pushing you guys, okay? So if you wanna go for your double, here we go. Ready? Ready, three, four, five, six, up, seven, prep, eight, turn, one, two, three, four. Good, everyone still needs to straighten out those base legs, okay? I see a lot of people turning on bent legs. Um, couple more things. I want you guys to think about your prep. Remember, once we go into doubles, I'm gonna show you what I'm seeing, okay? And I'm gonna see if you guys notice what's happening. So right now when we're prepping for a single, I see a lot of you guys prepping like this, okay? And then we're turning. And then now when we're prepping for doubles, we're starting to go like this. What's happening? Uh. What do you think's happening, Madison? I forgot. That's okay. Um, anyone else think that they know? Elizabeth, what do you think is happening? Oh. You can talk. Um, when you're, so if you're single, you, you're you starting like this, but when, but when you're double, you're starting sideways instead of forwards, like you did for your single. Yeah, like my whole body's twisting and it's almost like we're get, we're like winding up. Like we feel like we need all this power to get around two times. Nice. So we're like taking our whole body with us. So what I want you guys to do is make sure you're still starting in really awesome preps because that's how you start every turn, no matter if you're doing a single, two, three, four, five, or 16 pirouettes. Do you guys think you could do 16? Just kidding. <laughs> um, so no matter how many you're doing, I want you guys to always start from the same place, okay? Because that's how you get really good at them. So try not to wind up. Got it? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to try again. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Ready? 
three, four, five, six, up, seven, prep, eight, turn, one, two, three, four. Ooh, LS, I just caught you wind up, but then you fixed it, which is really awesome. Um, can you just show me yours really quick? Let me just see your turn. Yep, go for a double. So remember when we prep, um, we step forward and I think you're taking a double step with your feet. So you're stepping almost like back and you're walking, rocking your weight front. So try to get the clean prep back into there. Okay, so rising up on seven, then only stepping forward and then staying in that position. But I love that you caught yourself and you fixed the wind up with your arms, but now try to get your feet to do the same thing. Okay, here we go, everyone again. Ready? Three, four, five, six, up, seven, prep, eight, turn, one, two, three, four. So Henley, do you know what I just corrected LS on? So for um, her stepping, which way should we step forward? Yep. Yeah, step front. And I just caught you stepping back. So I want you to try to get all of your weight stepping forward, okay? So let's try it two more times. Here we go. Ready? Three, four, five, six, prep, seven, eight, turn, one, two, three, four. Good. Last time. Ready? If I give you a correction, what should you try to do? <gasps> Fix it. Ready? Really focus. It's going to be our last double. So, or single. So, really, really try to do it. Ready? Three, four, five, six, up, seven, prep, eight, turn, one, two, three, four. Good. Madison, what was your correction at the very beginning of class? Get my foot higher. Yeah, get your passe super duper high. Um, so remember, even when you're doing doubles, that's your goal, okay? So make sure you get that passe all the way up to the highest part of your knee. Deal? Okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. We are gonna move on. So we're gonna do some batmas across the floor so you guys can find some space. And if you don't remember what batmas are, there are kicks. Um, so we're gonna do it a little bit differently today. So instead of doing a walk, walk, kick, walk, walk, kick. We're gonna do step brush. So the difference, I'm gonna find some across the floor music. The difference is, let me show you guys. I want you to watch my feet. So starting with one foot back. So step brush is you go step, and then this foot like slides on the floor and you do your full kick up and then stepping and your back foot does the same to brush onto the floor, okay? So no walks in between, but you're just trying to step and brush. My arms are still the same without in a T, so I'm holding them in a strong T out, and I'm just going step and brush, step and brush with straight knees, pointed toes, and trying to kick all the way up to your face, okay? And if you can't kick that high, I'd rather see straight knees and pointed toes rather than hunching over bent knees. Yeah, craziness, okay? I'm gonna turn on a song and we'll do it all together. We'll do it a couple times, um, just getting the feeling in our body. And then I'll watch you guys and give you guys some um, tips too. Here we go all together. Let's get a good song on. Ready? pause this music. So um, one thing that I'm noticing is crunched ankles, okay? So we're trying to point our toes. So you see I'm pointing my actual toe, but I'm not stretching through my ankle. You guys have to stretch through your actual ankle and make sure that you're really, really pointing all the way through your foot, okay? So stretching through your toes that way. And then when we kick straight to the front, 
Um, I'm gonna call on, let's do Brooklyn. So Brooklyn, when you kick straight to the front, which way should your knee be facing? Um, yeah, um, I would say towards my nose. Yep, your knee should be facing towards your nose. Good job. Um, and then let's see, let's have Zoe. Um, where do where do our hips face? Like if when we're kicking, do where do what do our hips do? Like if we're kicking, what are my what do my hips do when I'm kicking? They gotta stay still. They gotta stay still. Good job. So I see a lot of people right now who are kicking and we're lifting our hip up like this, and it's almost like you're sticking your booty out, okay? So I want you to take it out and pretend you have like two flashlights on your hips, and if I was kicking, they can't move at all, so I don't want them moving and pointing a different direction. They have to stay totally still while you're kicking, okay? So try to keep them totally still and kicking straight up. It makes it a lot harder because it's stretching a different muscle. If you lift your booty, then it feels easier, but it doesn't look as pretty, right? We don't wanna see your booties. Okay, let's try it one more time, and I'm gonna watch again. So starting across the floor. Arms are straight and strong. Here we go. Ready, five, six, seven, eight. Step, and brush. Step, and brush. Step, and brush. Step, and brush. Good. Okay, I saw a lot of good things there. Um, Henley, you had some really awesome pointed toes and straight legs, which I love to see. Um, Madison, you had some really good straight legs too, but you're crunching your foot just a little bit, so make sure you point all the way, okay? So that's, I think I notice it the most on your right side, so make sure you really squeeze your toes. Um, Zoe, it's, not, it's super hard to see you right now, so I couldn't see you going across the floor, just so you know, okay? Um, Okay, good job. Let's keep moving on. So we're gonna work on some shunnies now. I think um, we started just doing them and getting them back in our system last time. So we did four across. We're gonna do kind of the same thing here. So doing our shunnies, and I want you guys to start with our pointed toes. My right foot starts in front. I'm squaring off to the side and closing, squaring off to the side and closing, squaring off to the side and closing, okay? Um, let's see. I'm going to call on this time. Ella S. Can you tell me, um, when we set our heels down for a shunne? That's your arms. Do we, when, when do we set our, our, our heels down? Never. Never. Yeah, good. It was a trick question. You knew the answer. We never set our heels down. So we're up on our toes the, the whole entire time. And you want to make sure that once we start turning, you stay up there. Okay. So you never set those heels down. And then let's see for my second question. Let's ask Henley. Um, can you tell me if our knees are bent or straight in Shanae's? They are straight. Straight, yep, super stick straight. So I wanna make sure that you guys have really straight legs, okay? So let's do it one time all together and then I'll watch you guys. Here we go. Good. I'm gonna watch you guys. Ready. Show me your prep. Five, six, seven, eight. It's T and circle. T and circle. T and circle. One more and circle. Good. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys just a little heads up. Um, since we got on this call a little bit later, since Jordan wasn't able to start the call, I'm gonna go 10 minutes over. So if you guys can stay, great. If you guys can't, that's okay too. Um, I'll post the video on YouTube if you can't stay and you guys can watch the rest later when you're not busy. So if you can't stay, I'm so sorry that that happened, but now we know. Um, but otherwise we're gonna keep cruising. So I'm gonna watch you guys this time. Um, for Shanae's again. And what I saw last time is I think we we're getting a little confused. So when we start, I'm gonna show you my legs really quick. So I 
this time and not mirroring you. Your body should look like my body. So I'm starting all the way on the left side. My right foot is in front. And when I turn, I step and I'm turning over my right shoulder. So we're all turning over our right. But that's the way we normally do Chonets, okay? Especially at your guys' age, we always learn to the right first, okay? So that one more time, starting with your right foot out and then up on your toes the whole time that you're turning and doing our four, okay? Good, that already looks so much better for a lot of you. Um, let's try that again and I'm gonna watch and hopefully give you guys some critiques. Here we go. Ready, point that toe. Five, six, seven, eight, T, and circle. T, and circle. T, and circle, one more T, and circle. Good, freeze for a second. <gasps> okay, I know I already quizzed you guys about if our, we set our heels down and if our knees are straight, and I just saw a bunch of bent knees and setting our heels down. So you guys have to make sure that you're fixing it, okay? So making sure your knees are super duper straight the whole time, okay? Um, when we open up to the side, Madison, I noticed this on you the most. Um, when you're doing your big T, it's kind of the same thing in your prep where your hands are facing the front and we want our palms facing down, okay? And we square off to the side. So every time I'm in my T, I'm facing the side and that's almost like my freeze point. So I freeze and then I turn. That was way better that time, good job, okay? Good, but then one more thing is we don't wanna to try to stick out our bellies. So when we go in our T, we don't wanna go back and arch our arms, okay? So this has to stay all flat and forward. My arms are almost in front of me a little bit rather than behind me. So we have to really control our arms, hitting our T this way, and then closing off into our circle, okay? Good, last time, here we go, let's try it. Start with a really nice pointed toe. Ready. Five, six, seven, eight. It's T and circle. T and circle. T and circle. T and circle. Good. Freeze. Good job. Henley, that was better with straight legs. Good job. Um, Ella S, I think you can straighten your knees a little bit harder and then just make sure that you guys are staying on the beat. Like I'm saying it out loud and some of you guys are zooming across the floor. Like it's super duper fast. Okay. And it's not super fast. We want to make sure we're doing it properly and make sure that we're not, um, being crazy with it. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, we're going to work on just a couple more things today. So we're going to try to work on our right leaps. Um, and I know some of you guys are, don't have a whole lot of room. So we're going to do like not our typical right leaps where we go flying across the room because our leaps are normally supposed to travel which direction? Everyone point. Up. Up. Zoe just shouted it. Okay. So our leaps are supposed to go straight up. So instead of doing two big run runs, we're going to start from our passe. Okay. And we're just going to work on our leg power. So you guys are going to start with your leg up into passe. I will show you. Let's see if we can. Okay, so starting with right leg up in passe, up this way, and you're going to be your bottom leg is bent, and then just working on your jump. So from here, I'm going to plie, and I'm going to jump straight up. I'm just trying to get my legs out as wide as I can, okay? So that thing again, so plie, and then jumping, and trying to get your legs out as wide as you can. Yep, and everyone really quick, just show me, where do your arms go in that leap? Where do your arms go? <gasps> I don't know if anyone's showing me right. Oh, Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn, switch to the side though. There you go. So our left arm should be in front and we're doing L. So remember when we go across the floor, our left arm's in front. It's kind of like running and it's a low L. So we're not up by our ear, we're down here. So we try to squeeze it and control it, okay? Squeeze and control into that L. So try not to let those arms fly up, but place it right in front of you, okay? Okay. Let's try it, okay? So this time I'm just gonna count and watch, and I'm gonna try to see all of your guys' legs as best as possible. But I'm gonna count one, two, three, four. You're gonna plie five, six, and then you're gonna jump up on seven, eight into that big leap, okay? Here we go, ready? Elizabeth, you ready? Okay, here we go, ready? One, two, three, 
four, play it five, six, seven, eight. Good, Brooklyn. So I don't know if you were listening, so we're not doing any runs. You're only going into your passe and you plie and then jump straight up, okay? That way I can, you still stay in the camera when I see you too and I can help you guys out a little, okay? Same thing, ready? One, two, three, four, plie, five, six, jump, seven, eight. Good, Madison, point those toes still again, okay? Um, Henley, make sure your left arm is in front. Okay, so it should be opposite as your leg. So if I'm facing this way and my leg is in front, my left arm is this way and my right arm is to the side. Yep, there you go, just like that, perfect. Okay, here we go again, same thing, ready? Squeeze those muscles. One, two, three, four, plie, five, six, jump, seven, eight. Good. Okay, one more thing. I think I told you guys this little trick before that's gonna help your legs get up. But when I jump and I'm doing a leap, what should you think about your front leg doing? Anybody can answer this. It's kind of a tough question. Where should it be aiming when you extend that front leg? It should be aiming forward. Sort of, but what's the trick to get it really high? Do you remember when we talked about this in class? It, it was kind of a while ago. It should be aiming up. Yeah, aiming up. So when we talked about in class to help get your legs up and higher, you almost want to think about from here, if you were to do when we just did those batmas, almost shooting it up so that when you jump that they flatten out a little bit more. That's our trick to help get our front leg off the ground, okay? So you're almost thinking about doing this as a bottom up as you're le leaping, okay? So let's do this one two more times. We're gonna see how it looks, ready? And your passes. Ready, one, two, three, four, plie, five, six, jump, seven, eight. Good, Brooklyn. Um, that time, I think you could get your back leg even higher too. So remember, you can't give up on your back leg even though we just focused on front. Um, but that's just to help to get our legs even higher, okay? Better, yep. One more time, ready? Passe one, two, three, four, plie, five, six, jump, seven, eight. Ooh, that was a lot better for you guys. Good job. Okay, shake those legs out. Last thing we're gonna do all together is we're gonna hit our splits all together. So, we wanna keep making sure that we stay flexible. Um, and I know you guys had some time to stretch on your own beforehand, but let's see how they're looking. So everyone's going to face the side. We're going to start with our right splits first. Ooh, Brooklyn's already in them. You guys are in them in three, two, and one. Perfect. Good, Elizabeth. Can you drop down into your splits? Brooklyn, stretch through that front foot all the way. Same thing, Ella. Point your toes. Good, Madison, you're so close. Remember when we're doing our flexibility, we almost wanna think about relaxing our muscles and like sinking down into it, like we're falling asleep so we can get closer and closer. If we resist and tense our muscles up, okay, that's when they're not gonna get us flexible as fast, okay, because that's resisting everything. So you almost wanna like think about breathing and relaxing. Okay, if you are flat, bring your arms out to the side. And holding it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, shake it out. Okay, left side. We are there in three, two, one. Elizabeth, can you tilt your camera down so we can see you a bit better? Good, make sure those toes keep pointed. Brooklyn, engage your feet. So if you're someone who is new um, to getting their splits flat, 
Um, you can always take something to grab onto to try to start figuring out how to get your balance to get um, your arms off because it's a little bit of a different feeling. Um, but if you're flat, arms out to the side, point your toes and holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Shake it out. Okay, last one, super duper fast. Middles, you're in them in three, two, one. Try to straighten out your knees so they don't look like a frog. I want super duper straight legs. Holding it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, shake it out. Okay, good job. You guys can unmute yourselves. Good work today. Hands come in. We're gonna say twinklers on three. Ready? One, two, three. Twinklers. Arista. Yes, Zoe. So close to get my middle school's flat. Woohoo! Literally, I'm so close. I can literally slide into getting my middle school's flat, but I can't do it all. Okay. Like, I'm so close to the ground, my thighs and um, my thighs will touch the ground. <laughs> but I'm not sitting or leaning over. Good job, Zoe. I can't wait until you get them all the way. Good job, Zoe. Okay, bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. bye.